Hi Aquarius, welcome to your January reading. Happy New Year, happy early birthday. Yes. So, it's called Recenter. And it has a lot to do with Mercury retrograde, but it also has to do with how you feel when you don't feel comfortable communicating because everything you say seems to get misunderstood. If, a, if an Aquarius can't communicate without somehow being persecuted for it, even if they are saying notably harsh things, if there is no patience for them from the people around them, it can become a little bit, you can become a little bit sullen, a little melancholy, perhaps even a little bit colder than you think you are. And so that's a really big thing to think about in January. How cold are you? There's two reasons for it. One, you express yourself and you're misunderstood and it goes so terribly that you distance yourself and that reads as coldness. Or in the attempt to understand something and perhaps even teach it to someone else, you theorize something to the point where it becomes such a mental activity and no longer in the body, no longer based in emotions and feelings, no longer even able to evoke those emotions and feelings. As we know from neuroscience, when we begin to analyze an emotion, the feeling part of our brain turns off and the analytical part of our brain turns on and we experience an enormous decrease in feeling. So that coldness that can occur from going deep into theory and really deep into the mind, it's brought up either by your family, your friends, a lover, an ex-lover, somebody feels the need to tell you that you are distant, that you are not as warm as they would like. And this, of course, can only feel like an insult, but remember that Mercury rules your house of intimacy and Mercury is retrograde in your sign from the 14th on. Before the 14th, between the 12th, okay, starting on the 12th, throughout to the 16th, you need to be on the lookout because something shocking or someone shocking wants to shake you up. And I think it has a lot to do with the kind of bubble of theory that you've built around yourself right now. Whether you're theorizing your way out of a, a broken heart, whether you're trying to theorize your way to more money, whether you're trying to avoid confrontation by intellectualizing something. These are all different attempts at somehow connecting. You want to connect. You want to be a part of things. You want to be counted. You want to be influential. You want to be included. But in the need to do so, I think a lot of your subconscious is getting rattled, especially because the sun is in Capricorn, and it's creating this sort of passive aggressive subconscious like battle between you and others, especially when it comes to connecting in terms of love. You're just very riled up, it seems. And I think people are triggering you because they're choosing to misunderstand you. And that's really hard to take because, because why, right? Now, if you find that whatever you are theorizing about doesn't fit with you anymore, whatever that thought process was or what you, whatever you were adhering to, it doesn't work for you anymore. Don't keep doing it out of habit. You know, don't force yourself into loops that you yourself know you don't want to be in anymore. There is 
there's a really strong need to connect more spiritually. If you're having trouble connecting with others, perhaps the way to mitigate the issue is not to chase after them or to make them understand or to explain to them the intensity of your feelings underneath the theory that they're obviously missing. Because I'm in no way implying that you don't have the feelings. We know you have the feelings. It's just about whether or not they are getting through to anybody else. And it's more so just to alleviate a sense of frustration within you, you know, because how frustrating must it be to have all these emotions and yet externally it seems like you have very little and it's very difficult to connect when, you know, the, the reality is so different. It's, it's difficult. And it may, in some cases make you want to go back to your old ways because it's like I was way more disconnected before if you guys are going to keep calling me that or if you're going to paint me with that brush something that I've worked so hard on not being anymore then maybe I should just be that don't do that don't do that now that knight of swords also applies to how you're dealing with money you've got quite a lot of energy when it comes to spending money um and there is a chance, again, to going back to your old ways, there is a chance of sabotaging, sabotaging your financial freedom, going into debt, shopping out of stress. So we want to be really careful not to do that. Between the, fir the 10th and the 13th, there is a lot of gossip going on at work and it could potentially be really, really bad for you. Um, or it can cause, it can be a cause of great promotion if you stay out of it and just your hands are completely clean. Even if something is being spoken about in your presence, you leave. Like there's no way to pin it on you. You had nothing to do with it. And that can, a situation that could potentially be a trap from the 10th to the 13th ends up being a wonderful option, uh, a wonderful opportunity, sorry, to gain some promotion and recognition. There is someone at work that around the full moon um, is expressing some interest, concern. They, at least in a work environment, have a lot of love for you. They are very concerned about you. They're concerned about your health. They're willing to give. They're willing to empathize. They're willing to listen. But this is not someone that you have used as a resource. If your job isn't one where you come into contact with a person like this, then it's someone that you're coming into contact with not in a friendship way, not in a lover's capacity. This is someone who is outside of that realm. This is a platonic situation with someone who really is concerned. And part of their concern around the full moon is valid. And you should, you need to focus on your physical health a little bit because I think recently a few things have happened that have really hurt your heart. And when you get like that, you have a tendency to let the physical go and that can just make everything, you know, kind of double back on itself and, and, and it can turn into a really toxic spiral. So around the 18th on the full moon, you really want to focus on your health and you want to be very grateful to whoever this person is. Now, uh, let's not ignore the obvious. If you have this Capricorn energy in your life and it's not this energy of kind of avoiding controversy and keeping your eye on the ball and getting the promotion and, you know, making it to the top of the hill. If it's not about that um, and it's actually a person in your life that is a Capricorn or has a Capricorn rising, then they are in their own way trying very much to offer you this cup uh from the way it looks it's very impressive it obviously has a very impressive effect on you uh but again i don't know how far they're going to get with someone who isn't willing to live it and just wants to theorize it because capricorns are you know the sign directly in front of you and behind you they're they're opposites of you they're they're a reaction to you right so you're a reaction to capricorn so capricorn can be so much of a doer and you're so much of a, a being person that perhaps that switch isn't very easy for you but um they are about it they want to live it they don't want to theorize it so that it's a great energy to fold into you right now whether it's a person or not and then the money issues that you're having especially around imposter syndrome and 
am I as good as I think I am? Am I going to have as much money as I think I will? Will it go the way I want? Am I, you know, the person I am presenting at? Is that authentic? Is the money that I'm making off of this in some way, is that legitimate? How do I feel about it? Your moral compass is kind of going all over the place right now because again, you're getting trapped in that world of theory. And my personal opinion <laughs> is that when you get really hurt, especially when it comes to love or you're just disappointed by someone who you thought you might be able to love, you do have a tendency to escape into your mind. And I think that's what's happened. And now everything else is just a repercussion of that. And so let's talk. Okay, so you got hurt. And even if you didn't get hurt, you're disappointed. And perhaps you're nursing a disappointment from a long time ago and you're still, you know, messed up about it. Whatever it is that's got you running for cover in your mind, let's try and figure out a way that you can use your mind to bring you back into your body and to bring you back into your reality. And so you can see that although the thing that has happened is very painful, it is not the end all be all of existence and it's not the end all be all of your being, okay? Because the star is here, the wheel of fortune and the ace of pentacles buffering it on both sides. Yes, it sucks. Yes, everybody has a coping mechanism. Yes, this is yours, but You have to put it in perspective. If this is what prompts you to finally pay attention to you and start working on you financially, great. If you're already there, then hold up what you're doing financially up against whatever this disappointment or pain is and see the truth, which is that you doing for you and securing your bag and securing your future, nothing is ever gonna be more important than that. And that's not just a theory. Love you. Let's look at these cards. Hi, Aquarius. Welcome to the second part of your reading. All right, let's have a look at these cards. So right away, you can see how that Knight of Swords is really worked up. And it has a lot to do with this, if not everything to do with this back and forth romance. Now, for some of you, that back and forth romance begins as of the 14th or somewhere around there when Mercury goes retrograde. But for some of you who are super, super sensitive, this back and forth could have been, could have been perfect. Is this the one relationship? Probably already happened. And now you find yourself recovering while you have this Mercury retrograde in the ruler of your house of intimacy. So, well, you have this retrograde of the planet that rules your house of intimacy. Now, in your quest to further whatever your work situation is, whatever your career goals are, I think there's been a little bit of a trade-off. Um, perhaps you've traded a bit of... Hmm, let's say superfluous, you know, just hanging out and and being around. Maybe you've traded that for a little more focus and a little more drive. And although in your mind, and you know, even the way I'm saying it, it doesn't seem like there's anything wrong with that, the real world implications of how focused you've been may be surprising to you because you haven't really been connecting with what's going on around you, more so what's going on inside. So externally, what you will find pretty jarring in January is that people are expressing how distant they feel from you or how they feel that you've distanced yourself. Now, if this is not what you want, then great. You have what you need now to start to rectify the situation is you being the one making the, uh, you know, taking the initiative, making a point to connect with people you can do that uh you can also just tone down a little bit on the the fire that's been lit under you in terms of ambition and where you want your career to go truth is truth of the matter is that once you've 
done your best, you really have to, you know, leave it and let God. But it's the once you've done your best part that you trip up on. So is there such a thing as Aquarius having done their best? Or is it always just um, a feeble attempt? Because a Queen Aquarius at their best would be too difficult to attain or something like that. If that's the strange logic you've been living under, uh, now is the time to change it. <laughs> um, so you have this Capricorn energy saying, hey, be careful. Um, you know, you want to go right to the top with anything, everything but at what cost. And it's also, you know, there's a lot of wondering uh, all around people around you like what is triggering this person and even you to a certain extent you know what what makes you withdraw because these are questions that want to be answered in january and they are directly related to the drive that you have like what is driving you is it a fear is a fear of lack or less or fear of the past repeating itself well regardless of what the fears are and whatever subconscious acrobatics you're doing to keep them all in place the good news is that in terms of love and money things get very venusian it's very straightforward questions and answers there's a lot of uh, confrontation between lovers and loved ones there's a lot of money coming in and all that really demands of you is to be purely yourself. Uh, if you're having issues with figuring out right now who you are, because so much of the external walls that we bump into to find the shape of ourselves are gone. Um, so if you're struggling with that, it's okay. There is a way out of it. When you truly start to express from who you really are, there's just money surrounding you. Money and good luck and blessings. And of course, because that's what happens when you, you know, when you're doing the work, it's very frustrating when that's not happening, when you're not doing the work. Okay? Now, there are a few things and a few people that you're still holding on to out of habit. There are a few things that you're doing to beat yourself up, especially if you've had a loss recently. Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords indicating loss. Ace of Cups indicating that it was a loss based in love, that love has been given back to you in some shape or form. And it's up to you to recognize it when it comes back around. For most of you, it's already come back around. For some of you, you have a couple of weeks. Around the full moon, it really hits you that, you know, this blessing is just a way of repurposing the terrible and so we don't want to ever get too far outside uh, or too far inside our own heads right we don't want to theorize to the point where we're not living anymore we're just trusting what people tell us okay we love you love you I'll see you in the extended right now.